So guys, in today's video, we will learn how to create the Spring Boot based REST services. For this, I am gonna use Spring Toolsuit plugin that is being installed inside the Eclipse. And after the project is up and running, then we will push our code to the GitHub repository for the first time. So guys, let's get started. So to install the plugin, you need to go into the help marketplace and from the marketplace you need to find the STS and hit on the install button and there are two three more skins and your plugin will be up and running after the Eclipse has been restarted that's the last step so guys I have already installed this plugin so let's create the project right click under the project explorer new project and under the spring boot menu select the spring startup project you need to give the name of the project some couple of other options like package name etc and then hit the next button and these are the couple of the starter options that spring boot provide so we need to select the web under the web and then hit the finish button it will basically uh, create a skeleton project for us that is spring boot based skeleton project with all the necessary and using the pom.xml file so guys our project has got the necessary files the spring boot application that is the start point of our project and the pom.xml that contains the necessary dependencies jar So here is the web that we selected during the create of this project and this is the uh, Spring Boot application file that contains the main. So let's let's create a REST based service in this project in this particular file sorry. Make it as a REST controller. Let's copy one REST based service inside this file. So it has done the necessary import. So let's run this application, right click on the file, run as Spring Boot. So application is up and running. Let's test it by hitting the localhost 8080. If I run it again, so we got the message Spring Boot World. Hello Spring Boot World. Okay. So now the next step is to push this code to the GitHub repository. So for that you need to sign into the GitHub. And on this home page you need to create a new repository. Give some name to your repository, public and create repository. Now to push the code to the GitHub repository, I am using the GitHub ins Windows install installation. So you can download the same from here. Now I need to go to go to my project. So here is my project code files. Now right click here git bash here so guys these are couple of commands that i need to execute to push the project to my github repository so i'll just simply copy paste So guys it has successfully pushed my code to the github repository. Now let's refresh this URL again. Now you can see that the code has been pushed. Now our next task, task would be to integrate the github repository with the online build mechanism that is the Travis 
So in the next tutorial, I will tell you how to sync the GitHub with the Travis and 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 create the trigger that will automatically create a jar or a var file of your project and push that particular build file of your project into the GitHub repository inside the target folder. So guys, stay tuned for the next tutorial. Yeah.